What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Yes, I'm starting this video driving home from work. And yes, I did just get off a 16 hour ship. That's not going to stop me today. We got UPS dropping off our fish mail in just a few hours. Just a few minutes for you guys. And it is that big surprise I've been talking about. It's going to be going in 55 gallon. But before we get started with that, do me a favor. Go and smash that subscribe button. And ding that little notification bell so you know the next time I upload a new video. If you love watching fish tank videos, you might as well go ahead and join the fam. I'm bringing you multiple videos a week and live streams on every Sunday. So go ahead and hit those. If you don't know what they look like, look down in the bottom right corner and you'll be able to see those icons. Go ahead and hit both of those for me, please. And I'm getting ready to pull into the house. So let's wait for the UPS guy and then we'll get into that unboxing. of our Halloween decorations. I just want to give a huge shout out to my fiance. She painted both of these and she painted this Leonardo for my son as many of you call him Baby Otter. And the paint's starting to chip off but look how incredibly sick that is. I've never seen a pumpkin look that good. If you guys love Halloween and you love Ninja Turtles Give me a thumbs up on this video. What is up, UPS? That's what I'm talking about. What's up, buddy? Yes, sir. You took good care of him, right? Yeah. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Be careful. What up? We're going to do the unboxing in the living room just because I have a place to sit down and a lot more room to maneuver. So let's go ahead and bust into this bad boy. So as you can see here, we got the styrofoam packaging, which is really nice for the time of year it is. It's it really cold at night. I don't see any heat packs, but it was overnighted and we have a live on arrival guaranteed. And this did come from Aquatic Arts, AquaticArts.com. If none of you have checked out their channel, you need to go check it out. They got a lot of really cool fish on there. Alright, so we got some that aren't doing too good. This bag looks really, really healthy. And this bag, not so much. But we did get the... Dwarf Neon Rainbow Fish. And we got to get these guys out. They are swimming upside down. They all still look alive, but they are upside down. So let's go ahead and get these guys temperature acclimating, and we'll see if we can save them. Guys, we got them temperature acclimating in the 55-gallon. This bag on the right does not look good at all. Everything on the left looks super healthy. I am super sketched out right now about this. Man, I hope I can save these guys. I ordered 12 of them, so it looks like they sent me a couple extra. Probably just in case, you know, something did happen. Alright guys, I'll bring you back when I get them in the tank. I am freaking out right now and this is just blowing my mind and this just goes to show how crucial it is 
when shipping fish this time of year. These low temperature nights are hurtful for fish. If they don't have heating pads in there, even a styrofoam box. I mean, I'm not sure if it was the temperature, but that plays a huge role in the safety of the fish. Could have been something else. Could have been shipping. Could have been one just was sick and died and let off a bunch of ammonia. I don't know. But I know for a fact that these fish were overnighted. They sent me the confirmation code that they shipped them out yesterday. It's now 11 o'clock in the afternoon. I got them, put them straight in the tank, and I just hope I can save them. Let's see what we can do with them. All right, guys. I do not know what's going on. I went ahead and turned the light on on this tank. It's a couple hours early, but I don't have to work tonight, so I'll probably shut it off a couple hours early. But I got these guys temperature acclimating, and they all seem to have perked up. I mean, I don't see any upside down. None are swimming on their sides like they were. It must have just been temperature related. This is crazy. I mean, I'll probably be able to see them more uh, once we get them actually into the aquarium. But I am super pumped. I just saved a bunch of dork neon rainbow lives. Sweet! So it's been about 20 minutes. I really don't want to keep them in here much longer than that. If you can look right here, there's really not that much water in here. So it doesn't take it that long to get to temperature. At least it'd be close enough. I gotta get these guys out of here since they were struggling. And I'm gonna plop and drop them. Once again, I don't have anyone to hold a camera. You guys know how the plop and drop goes. You plop, then drop. But we'll go ahead and do that and bring you back when we get them in the tank. Before I get these guys in the tank, remember when I took you on that Pet Sense and Walmart uh, fish tour? And I got all those fish nets. This is one of the main reasons. I'm superstitious when it comes to getting new fish and whenever I do I always use a new net. This is really good. I know there's nothing wrong with this net and these fish aren't going to be introduced to any bad bacteria or anything. So just another little uh, Tuesday tip thrown in there on this Fish Mail Friday. And one other thing, I always rinse it with tap water. Alright guys, we got them in the tank. None of them are swimming weird like they were, but if you can see on their gills, they're super red. And this one's kind of out doing its own thing. Not sure what's going on with it. But I'm just going to keep a close eye on these guys over the next few days. And if I need to pull them out and treat them, I will. I'm seeing a bunch of yellow on the fins, which are females. I'm not sure if at this age they all start out at as yellow hopefully I didn't get all females and hopefully Moo don't eat them but there you have it there's a big surprise looks like 14 not 12 dwarf neon rainbow fish Alright, so as I came back in, after getting the fish in the tank, I was cleaning up my mess, and I did find a heat pad wrapped in that paper, and it's still kind of warm, so I'm not sure what is going on with that, but I just wanted to share that with you guys, just so you know, if you order from Aquatic Arts, around this time they do 
a ship with a heat pack. so much love and attention lately and neglecting the 55 gallon of getting new fish we went to aquaticarts.com we got 14 new dwarf neon rainbow fish let me know what you guys think about these fish in the comments down below have you kept them before would you like to keep them what were your experiences in the water with otter creek aquatics and i just want to thank you for joining me on another fish mail friday and until that next video see you